What is going on guys? It is your boy RSR from RSR Collections wishing you guys a happy New Year's. That's right, let's get it 2024 y'all. And of course, you know, given that it's still the holidays, of course we have to have this phenomenal, this amazing Team Samurai X1 holiday playmat, guys. It only comes out during this time of the year. <laughs> so that being said, guys, this is the first, the first drop, really, first drop of 2024 for Vid, as well as we're going to open every single pack and set of 2023, guys. So without further ado, let's get started, y'all. We got tons to cover. So we're gonna start with Amazing Defenders. Uh, and I think, yeah, we got three packs of Amazing Defenders. We usually try to open at least quantities of two to three, depending on the set or product. Um, this is obviously gonna be excluding um, speed duels, excluding uh, OTS packs, because your boy hasn't entered enough local to even have them all. Um, speed duels, OTS packs, and structure decks, of course, right? So we're gonna try to go in order as best as we can. I'm gonna have my, uh, yeah, my other phone here on the side too so we can just make sure we follow along the correct order of these sets but uh, guys like i said let's go so first pack of amazing defenders like this doing this video is like one of my favorite openings of or openings yeah i guess pack openings of uh, the year uh all right the great makonko ceremony uh rescue ace hq and a super rescue ace impulse all right got makonko promise and for noble knights pearly Limit removal. So literally, Makonko, uh, Pearly, and Rescue Ace, like three of the best decks in the format right now. Um, we'll put our supers, or sorry, we'll put our rares all the way off to the side. We'll put our supers there. Um, I'm gonna try to create some space on the play map compared to the last time where everything just started to crumple together, right? All right. We got Igzy's Reborn, Extinguish, Makonko Kagura, Infernoble Arms, uh, Durendal. Straight Pearly Street and a Hari the Sword Mikako with a Gizmak Naganki the Sunrise Signaler. Sorry, S yeah, Signaler. Okay. I forgot how crazy this set was. <laughs> Honestly, amazing defenders. One of the last pack of defenders, by the way. I think this is uh, one set I chose. Yeah, I chose not to go into this year. Um, as you can tell, guys, with how my drops were going, um, you know, I slowed down on buying booster boxes just because a lot of big things happened this year. Rescue Ace Airlifter. Um, Rescue Ace Impulse, another one. Nice. All right, so just supers, guys. No Ultra Secrets, secrets or CRs. We'll start off with one of the probably game-changing sets of the year, guys. Photon Hypernova. Like, this set what, hit hard, guys. <laughs> This set absolutely hit hard. You got Triple Tactics Thrust, right? Like one of the uh, and one of the most expensive cards in the set, as well as just um, you know game changing as well too, right? All right, we got Cassie Molar, Ice J Man Manifestation, Familiar of the Evil Ice, Silverwing Axe, Dynamondo, Chaos Beast, Core of Chaos, Numrons, and an Ultra Big Welcome Labyrinth. Nice, our first Ultra Rare. All right. Uh, but yeah, guys, like, let's not forget how crazy Photon Hypernova was this year. I think I had a, if I remember correctly, I actually had a pretty decent box, too, uh, this year. This was definitely one of the boxes I opened. Galaxy Summoner, Red Vinegar of a Moose, Abyss Actors, Kai Mei, Branded Befallen, Meteor Rush, Mechaning Mantis, Core Chaos, and a super rare Cord in the Clear Sighted. Alright, and our last pack of Photon Hypernova, let's go... But yeah, guys, like, what was your favorite set of the year? <laughs> like, realistically, Scare Claws, realistically, I think 2022 was the better year in terms of sets, but human creation, another Ultra, let's go, that's two Ultras, Barogram, Shield, Emperor, the Forest Crown. Uh, but yeah, realistically, 2022 was the better year for sets, but, you know, 2023, I kind of slept on a little bit, you know, it started off, it started off high and then went to low, kind of went high again, right, so... Uh, Maze of Memories is the next one. I couldn't find enough packs or blisters anywhere in my locals. Um, I do have another blister, but I do want to keep it sealed in the collection. So we're just going to do one pack of Maze of Memories. I've opened enough of this pack of this year already. Um, all for chasing down the QCR Armed Neos. Yeah, because Photon Hypernova was the last set of the year where they did Starlight Rares. So that's what I was kind of hoping we were going to do one. Uh, or pull one, I mean. But... Uh, Maze of Memories, it kind of was trash, but also, like, 
personally, I kind of like the set this year as well. Time to stand up, Overload Fusion, Labyrinth Heavy Tank, and I think that's it, right? Cost down, Chaos Form, yeah. Soul of the Supreme King, nice. Nice. All right, so yeah, only one pack of Maze of Memories. And then according to TCG Player, y'all, we're going in the order of TCG Player, uh, next up is, I believe, for price guides so slash release is Invasion of Chaos. So believe it or not, guys, we did it. We do have two loose packs of Invasion of Chaos. I'm actually going to do two of each packs of um, of the Legacy packs you were able to purchase on their own. Um, otherwise, because Dark Crisis, they did not make on its own. You did have to get the... Um, the Legendary Collection uh, Anniversary, right? Uh, 25th Anniversary Edition. All right, we got Grandora, Tower of Babel, Chaos Necromancer, Salvage, Neobug, Blasting the Ruins, Smashing Ground, there you go, that's for Edison format, Hyper Hammerhead, and a Matza the Zapper. Oops. And the second pack of IOC, guys. All right. Hope you guys, I hope you had a happy Merry Christmas. I hope you guys had a happy holidays and continue to enjoy the holidays, right? Thank you for spending your time with me, if you're assuming you're watching this video. Chaos N, Primal C, Torpedo Fish, The Whistle, Ojama Yellow, Jazz and Hope, Earth Chant, and a Dark Triceratops. Wow, no uh, no hollows in our first like in our first set of legacy packs there. Alright, next up is, well it says Dark Crisis, we don't have any though, I think it's PSV, yep, Pharaoh's Servant is next guys, let's get it y'all. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys had a great holidays, um, I know I did, it was a little bit different this year, if I'm being completely honest, but still, you know, spend time with your friends, your family, your loved ones, right, whoever that, that may be, Chant to Javelin, 7 completed, Time Seal, Edison, Reign of Mercy, I remember that card, and Shift. I used to think as a kid that art was actually pretty sick. All right, last pack of PSV. Here we go. Still, oh wow. <laughs> we did the, the four card trick and we got Nobleman across out. So there you go, that's our first holo guys. Edison format, there you go, Nobleman across out. So our first holo of the Legacy Packs, Deep Sea Warrior, Mr. Volcano, right? Twin Head Dragon Overdrive, Morphin Jar 2 with our rare. All right, next up is one of my favorite packs ever slash sets over. What used to be known as Magic Ruler, which is now called Spell Ruler, right? So let's get it, y'all. I was able to pick up a first ed OG pack of Magic Ruler um, on its own. Shout out to Skyfox Games, Rising Air Current. All right, Turtle Oath, Luminous Spark, Spear, Graydon, Send You the Thousand Hands, and a Griggle. But just to shout out a couple of OTS stores slash Yu-Gi-Oh! retailers, guys. I want to shout out... So we'll start off with local first, right? We'll start off with uh, Fusion Gaming, right? So we'll start off... We'll also uh, start with Galaxy Comics. So yeah, like I said, starting out with two local OTS stores in Winnipeg. Um, no specific order. Just thank you guys for everything you've done. Thank you for the support. Uh, if we're reaching in, uh, you know, across Canada, shout out to Sky Fox Games, right? Thank you so much for everything. Uh, shout out to... Um, pastime sports and games out in Vancouver, guys. Level Guardian, Karate Man, and that's it. Wow, we're pretty, we're pretty dry on these legacy packs. I'm actually very impressed. Um, wow. <laughs> All right, two packs of Metal Raiders. But yeah, shout out to uh, this is Sky Fox Games. I already said that. Toronto. Shout out to um, Pastime Sports and Games out in Van. Um, just because those are just two OTS stores, or just you know people I dealt with this year. Um, shout out to Dollies, right? Uh, shout out to Four One Games. I'll have all their links um, below too as well. Check them. Check them all out, guys. Amazing people. Amazing people. Amazing people for sure. If you meet them in person. Amazing people working the site slash warehouse. Right. Fake trap. Wow, this is... We're getting a dry run. We're absolutely getting a dry run. It's literally... I think it's just exactly like last time. Like last year when I did this concept of a video, like, we started off... I mean, we might be able to finish strong, but... Wow, I'm actually very impressed. Harpy Lady. Which, the Black Forest? There you go. Horn of Haven and Ultra Rare. There you go. Our first, the Legacy Ultra. So out of all those legacy packs, only two hollows. And then last but not least for the standalone legacy packs, guys, LOB, let's get it. But um, yeah, it, it, I don't know, like it felt like it was a tough year. 
It felt like it was a tough year for 2023 sealed. Like, um, I feel like there could have been so many ideas uh, that they could have done. Better ideas, better concepts. But, um, I don't know, hard to say. Oh, oh, we got Ultra Flame Swordsman, though. Okay, messed that up, Carbonella Warrior. Sorry, not Ultra, Super Flame Swordsman. That's still a pretty sick uh, card there. The Joey Wheeler, right? Actually, I'm starting to arrange the wall a bit. There you go, Joey Wheeler, guys. <laughs> All right, and next up is the actual Legendary Collection 25th Anniversary, guys. So who doesn't re like, who doesn't remember L -O -L -C -O one right? That's the, that's the, what reads on the promo cards, LC01. Uh, started off with the, uh, the original OG binder, right? I remember that. I don't know if you guys do. Um, we also had the game board edition, if I'm not mistaken, as well, too, for LC01. So really, this is the third version of Legendary Collection 1, if you really think about it. So other than our legacy packs, we do get our promo pack, which you are guaranteed a QCR out of the one in six uh, promos you already guaranteed to get. So given the back of the card is just a plain back, and that means we either got to blue eyes, red eyes, or, um, yeah, blue eyes, red eyes, or dark magician. So we got obelisk, we'll just go super quick. Slifer red, raw yellow, blue eyes, dark magician, red eyes, and blue eyes is the most expensive one. Red Eyes Black Dragon, still not bad, guys. At the end of the day, these QCRs are still pretty, pretty sick. What about QCRs there? I doubt we'll, I honestly doubt we're gonna pull one naturally. <laughs> uh, well, now we'll put in the Ultra Pile. So guys, we'll start off with Dark Crisis just because we haven't had a Dark Crisis pack yet. Um, if we can pull that Exodia Necros, I think that's about a hundred bucks right now. It's crazy, why? I don't know. <laughs> Probably short printed, right? Or probably because they never made a standalone like booster box, or like you could you couldn't buy these standalone, right? Arsenal robber, goblin agreed, Sasuke samurai two, vile fiend archfiend, another archfiend card, thousand needles, contract with the abyss, and a berserker dragon. So not an ultra, but at least we got a hollow. Or sorry, yeah, not exodia, but we got a hollow berserker dragon. All right, you know what? I just realized we didn't open the other lob pack. My bad, guys. I got excited there. That is my fault. That is my fault. All right, Spike Seedra, Karumera, Steel Ogre, Child of Nightmare, uh, Dark World Thorns, Hitsomi Giant, Raised Body Heat. We got a rare Grave Digger Ghoul and a Mammoth Graveyard. So no blue eyes, not yet. Oh, just kidding. If we could get LOB blue eyes, I'd be very impressed. We'll go nah, 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 nah. nah. We'll do IOC. We'll do it in that order again. All right. But yeah, like, this was a great concept, like, making the legacy packs on their own. Being able to buy them in booster boxes, just because how often have we seen that reprint before? No, yeah, no hollow there. Nope, sorry, wrong place. Um, yeah, like, how often have we seen these, like, old OG packs be reprinted in booster box form? So if I'm being completely honest, I think it's a great concept. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> um, yeah, I personally think it was just a great concept. I really do. Um, now, of course, everyone's asking in the world form, right? LOB, obviously, just naturally, most people ask for 110, 120 right off the bat. Obviously, they could have asked the same price as all the other legacy packs, whether it was $90 a booster box or 100 for a booster box. But of course, they made it more expensive. Nice! Imperial Order Seeker Rare. The first secret. That's a decent one, too. I think that's also for Edison format. Um, but yeah, obviously, they could have made LOB the exact same price as everything else, but... Hey man, inflation. <laughs> Spell ruler, guys. Can we pull any of the tunes cards? Can we pull blue eyes tune dragon? That's what I would love. Blue eyes tune dragon. Toll, electric snake, high tide gijo. However you say it. Performance of sword, curse of fiend, snake fang, eternal rest, heizer heos and ryu, and messenger of peace. Okay, okay, we're getting some hollows now in these legacy packs. That's kind of nice. All right, guys, Metal Raiders, can we get Summoned Skull? Yeah, Summoned Skull's in here. I have pulled it once before. I believe it was off camera, though, if I'm not mistaken. All right, Ryo Kishin Powered, Cybersaurus, Rainbow Flower, Musician King, Dome of the Angel of Silence. Was it Angel? Yeah, Angel. Uh, Uguchi, Cannon Soldier, and a Secret Rare Gate Guardian. That is just as good looking as the Speed Duel's uh, Secret as well, too, if I'm being honest. That's kind of sick. Wow, okay. 
So in the anniversary collection itself, we've had decent um, we've had decent pulls inside the actual box itself, but our standalone packs were straight garbage. And last but not least for Legacy is LOB. Can we pull the Blue Eyes or the Dark Magician? Red Eyes is okay, but Blue Eyes or Dark Magician preferred. Beaver Warrior, Urabi, Power of Kaishin, Larvis, Two Mouth, Dark Ruler, Silver Fang, M Misaruzim, Pot of Greed, guys. Pot Collection. Ah, so good. Surprisingly, this Pot of Greed is still worth a couple bucks, if I'm not mistaken. All right, that is it for Legacy Packs. We're going to go back on track to the actual sets. Cyber Storm Access is the next one. Um, I, and, you know, I realize I haven't been mentioning when they released because if I'm being honest, I don't remember the top of my head. All I remember is Amazing Defenders was in January. Uh, Photon Hypernova was in uh, February. This was probably April, if I'm not mistaken, Cyberstorm. Now, I feel bad, though, for whoever went off on the set because Cyberstorm started off as a great set, in my opinion. Started off as a very powerful set. And then Bandless came and just hit it, right? Uh, Man Mandams, Trap Tracks, and Conestella Telenites. Kind of cool stuff. Uh, but yeah, like, initially, though, this set did start off very strong until the ban list hit. <laughs> uh, was it the Ninja cards, right? Was it the Ninja cards that came in in the set as well? Um, personally, I thought the Gold Pride stuff was sick, but Konami just didn't really, you know... They didn't really release a lot of good support for it to actually, you know, be on its own. I'm a firm believer that one day they'll uh, they will do it, right? But the gold pride stuff is actually kind of sick, like if I'm being honest. Even the accessories they made, the play mat, the deck box, the sleeves, super heavy samurais, it's to the branded, pearlies, yuck. How did I get here? Protect talker, reinforce. All right. So when it comes to our standalone packs, we're also taking some hard L's right now. Last pack of Cyberstorm Axis. Usually, guys, I do take my time, but hey, we have lots of packs to cover. Like, I'm just, like, taking a glance at my stack. We're maybe about halfway. And, yeah. <laughs> but I love this video, guys, just because, you know, I will admit I have trigger fingers, guys. I would love to open packs. The problem is the packs don't love me, and we take L's. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, as soon as I said that, we got a Guiding Quem QCR. That is gorgeous, guys. One of the very few moments I get to capture a high rarity pull on camera because I tend to have the god hands outside of camera. Oh, let's go, Guiding Quem. Oh, that is so sick. I don't even remember how I bought these Cyberstorm packs. Oh, wait, no, they're blisters, so I don't know where I bought them. But, oh, man. <laughs> Why couldn't I have like, pulled a Starlight last year? That is awesome, guys. All right, let's get back on track. Wow, Wild Survivors is next. Let's go. Once again, one of the very few times I get to Wild Survivors. But one of the very few times I get to um, open an epic pull on camera. Double Evolution Pill, Giant Rex, Super Politist in Nebulosis, Enemy Controller Econ, Fossil Dig, blah, 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 blah. Econ's actually not bad for Legacy, uh, sorry, Legacy, Edison format as well too, or even in the regular format. Uh, second pack, Wild Survivors. For some reason, I had, I have three packs. I thought I had two, but whatever. Like, might as well just open all of them. I don't think Lost World, I don't think this is a set that's uh, gonna go up over the years, so. I could be wrong, right? I'm, I'm, yeah, could be wrong. But, um, wow. <laughs> sorry guys, I'm still, I'm still like shaking over uh, Guiding Quinn, that's awesome. Last pack of Wild Survivors in blister form. That's right, I forgot to mention they did switch over to this, uh, like Pokemon style uh, for blisters. So if you guys remember, Cyberstorm Access was the last set you could get the um, um, regular blisters with a plastic front. All uh, right, here we go. Lost World and Vanquished Soul, Dusted Devil. Econ, nice. All right, guys, I'm not going to lie. I could use a drink because I am tired. <laughs> Battles of Legend of Monstrous Revenge. Let's go. Sorry, did I say Armdios is Amazing Memories? That is a mistake. I just Let me just correct myself there. Uh, <laughs> Armdios was in here. Amazing Memories had the Pharaoh's Rares. Uh, I would have loved Neos. Neos would have been sick. Final Cross. Noah Punk. Infernal Rage. Nice. That's actually a decent secret. Not worth a lot of money anymore, but the heroes, guys. If I could pull that QCR... Um, if I could pull a QCR once again, though, uh, QCR um, 
not pull, but arm Neo, so I can just get arm Neo on its own. That'd be sick. Monster Spider Splitter, Sage of the Men of Benevolence Cilia. Another Infernal Rage, wow. Okay. Double Infernal Rages, not complaining there. And last pack of Battles of Legend Monstrous Revenge, guys. Let's get it, y'all. And there's my boy Armneos at the front of the cover art. Ah, this is crazy. Real, I don't even want to know how much all this, all these packs cost together. <laughs> Let's go, guys. TCR Lady Labyrinth of Silver Castle. Wow. Wow. Let's go, y'all. I'm not going to search up how much this one costs, because uh, I know a lot of the um, stuff in Bowser Legend has gone down, if I'm not mistaken. So, as always, or sorry, I shouldn't say as always, but most, nine times out of ten, I always put the uh, the values somewhere in the frame. Anyways. Wow. Okay. Next up was OTS. We don't have that. Doom. Duelist Nexus. Doom. Got three packs, two blisters, one loose pack. All right, let's go. Can we get the cover card in TCR form? Doom. Doom, doom, doom. I'm trying to remember. Oh, man, dude, these sets start to become a blur after a while. Like, we're going to see. Um, Dune actually had it was a very good set. I forgot, though, some of the highlights of it. Super Heavy Samurai is. Uh, Duel's Genesis. There you go. Pretty sure that was the name of a set, wasn't it? Duel's Genesis. Structure deck, maybe? No, that's Vampire Genesis. Duel's Genesis. That does sound familiar, though. Alright, second pack of Dune. Nexus and Duelist. Duelist Nexus. Alright, here we go. Uh, Scrap Iron Secret Statue. Rot Resent. Results. Conkos. Pearlies. Oops, Scrappy Samurais. <sighs> nice. Pins and Dragon. That's right. That's right. Very nice Secret Rare. Would have been nice if it was a QCR, but I'm not complaining. That's a secret to secret. Crimson Dragon. I think that's my second time playing that, actually. We're getting some pretty decent stuff here, guys. So we're actually getting some decent stuff. Maybe our luck is starting to change. I'll actually, uh, you guys should see that. But I'll actually see that. Crimson Dragon. Wow. Alright, and last pack for Dune. Can we get another QCR? So we've done one in Battles of Legend. We've done one in Cyberstorm. Last time I had this kind of luck was Power of the Elements. Every Starlight pull I had was off camera. I pulled, was it two or three Starlights? All right, here we go, Emergency, Green Jar. Yes, I fast forwarded because I didn't know how to say that first card. Okay, and that's it, right? Usable in RDAs, by the way. All right, on to the next. Afterwards was Legendary Duelist Soul Burning. Uh, Soul Burning, what is it here, Volcano? Yeah. So, we're only opening one blister just because it counts with two packs. I think, as you can tell, these went on clearance uh, at some point at GameStop for four bucks. So, you know, definitely not complaining there. Legendary, so, because, you know, I miss the days where Legendary Duelist packs used to actually be decent. They had good concepts. Uh, this one was okay, right? We had the salad support, salad and grates. Um, you were able to get a ghost rare, right? You were able to get a ghost rare in the set as well, too. Oops. Which I've yet to do on camera. All right, here we go. We're just gonna go straight in. Uh, just a rare, right? Yeah, okay. So, Pete Leo reprinted. Alright, yeah, this one we could just rush straight in. If we can get a Ghost Rare, great. Highly doubt it. Oh, well, we got a Super, though. Volcanic Plays Accelerator. Plays Accelerator. What's his name? Axel, right? Axel from Yu Gi Oh! GX. Generation X. All right, Speed Duels Pod Collection, which most people are getting around this time or a month prior. Oh, guys, here we go. The Megatons, the 2023 Megatons, guys. Let's go. There you go. 25th Anniversary Tin Dueling Heroes. It's time to duel. All right, I might struggle opening this on camera, I think. As you can tell, guys, all my energy was taken out with those QCR bolts. <laughs> I'm actually uh, getting tired here. Getting winded, getting tired. Winda, should always. Let's go, best deck. And there's our QCR promo of Rainbow Dragon, another OG. Jesse Anderson. Crystal B Sapphire Pegasus. Obviously, there's nothing under these things. I would love if they just started including sleeves again, if I'm being honest. 
Here we go. First pack, Dueling Heroes. Now, hot take, great tin, but it value-wise, value-wise and not necessarily right. Um, the cool thing about this set was they made a lot of the staple cards affordable and accessible. Um, definitely not like previous tins where you could actually pull some value. All right, Exosisters, Super, Time Fleet Resolve, Immortal Dragon, Black Wings, nice. And yeah, there you go. And then everything else is just common, which will... Yeah, nothing really too crazy there, so... Ultra, Ultra, Secret, Secret, Super... Well, my piles are starting to merge again, just because of how the weight's been stacked. Whew, we're almost done, and like, we're at 26 minutes right now. Who knew pack opening this much would be exhausting? I don't know how people do it, man. I don't know how content creators like Ruxin and like, um, Sam back in the day when they could you do this for like, hours. <laughs> Crosskeeper, hero stuff. Then again, they are sitting down, I'm standing up. All right, Mitsu, oops, the Insect Giant, Ice Jade Curse. Uh, some cash here, there you go. Another best deck in the format at some point this year. Maple Maiden. Runic Fountain. I'm actually keeping that just in case. And Bestial Drew Swarm. That's right, the Bestial cards. And then just the commons, guys. Noise. That's right, I forgot. Bestials. That's not who affected the format heavily at some point, guys. So did Cash Tier, man. Almost made the game unplayable. But, I don't know, if I'm being honest, I actually prefer cash tier format over tier format, tier limit format, but that's just me. Alright, weather forecast, Liberal Mancers, right, come on, let's keep going. Melfi's, Liberal Mancers, Brandon and Central Dogmatica, Ice Jade, Therions, Scareclaw Arrival, Dynamorphia Teresa, Illusion of Chaos, nice, that's actually pretty sick reprint, and that's about it. Ooh, all right, I think we're winding down. I only have a couple packs left. After this was Crimson Grace Structure Deck, Age of Overlord, guys. Okay. We're only doing two packs. I thought I had three, but I only have two. Can we get SP Little Knight? Honestly, if you give me SP, you give gods. If you give me SP even in just a regular for like regular art, right? Or regular rarity. I don't I don't need the QCR. Like, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Ooh, no, Burful Met. I don't, I don't think it's going to happen. Maybe I should have done at least three of Overlords. I don't know why I didn't. Actually, yeah, I don't know why I didn't do three of each of Overlord. I did do a box of this this year, too. I think, if I'm not mistaken, at Array of Collecting. Check him out, guys, by the way, too. Um, I think he nudged me to do a booster box this year for this one. Because, like I said, I slowed down booster boxes. I have only I think I only opened, like, two or three this year. A little wrap. Ah, uh, yeah. Nothing there. All right, and guys, and next up, well, OTS Pack 23, we don't got none. Ooh, a game-changing set of the year. Not game-changing, but very hype, very exciting. Rarity Collection. I think we have five of these. Let's go. All right, Egyptian God Slime. Evenly matched, that's a good one. Nightmare Unicorn Alt Art. Triple Tactic Talents, nice. Some pretty, again, decent reprints. Very decent. I'm glad you don't get rares in this. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm actually glad that it gets a full on like hollow set. Like there's no such thing as rares, right? Cause if you remember back in the day, right? When they did set like this, uh, that had CRs, it's usually all guaranteed all rares. And then your one hollow card. Forbidden Drip, Alpha the Master of Beasts, Paw to Pross, I think that might complete um, my playset. And Baron, oh, now, now you show up, huh? Now you show up. You couldn't show up for me two years ago when I went to Legendary Duel Synchro Storm. Jeez. I don't even really want to talk about that, guys. And for those that know exactly what I'm talking about, man, <laughs> we lost a lot of money that year. <laughs> Pulling barrel. All right, guys. QCR Ash, where you at? Reasoning. Okay, regular Ash, and then effect failure. Okay, decent, decent. Should all shizm. Decent, decent. Reasoning, Shizm, and Unicorn. All right, guys. Here we go. Fourth pack of Rarity Collection. Come on. Give me a QCR. Give me Ash. I've seen it in front of me twice, and I didn't pull it because the packs weren't for me. Sphere Mode. Nice. I'll take that, though. QCR, Triple Tactic Talents, Compulse, uh, Deco Talker, and Parapods. 
Nice. I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm just glad we got a QCR. So in this video, what, three QCR pulls? Hey man. I normally don't have God Hands, so I will take what I can take. And last pack for Rarity Collection, guys. Let's go, y'all. Let's go. All right, here we go. Let's get that away. Numeron 100. It's a small world after all. Numeron, Nibiru, and Artifact Alencia, which is practically dead right now. Okay. All right. Whew. And two packs before we end Valiant Smasher's last set of this year. I feel like they could have finished stronger. Uh, Valiant Smashers, they should release Valiant Smashers ahead of Rarity Collection because Rarity Collection would have been a great way to close up the year. And then they release a set like this where it's okay, all right? Like, yeah, okay. Honest, nice. Yeah, like, th like this set is okay, but realistically, like, you should have finished off strong. Like, Konami, you finished off strong last year when you did, what was it, Mag Magnificent Mavens around this time, right? Sorry, I say around this time, but a couple weeks before, like, the holidays. So... I don't know, that's just my opinion. Last pack, guys, of this video. Terraforming, whatever that was. Supply Squad, Goblin, yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood. Babuska, nice. It's actually a decent staple. All right, guys, well, that is it for this video. There is no surprise packs at the end, unlike last year. Um, I wanna say we took some L's, but I don't know, man. I think we, I think we did pretty good. Other than triple attack, like just pulling these naturally, like Cyberstorm Quem, and then Basil Legend, uh, Lady Labyrinth, the Silver um, Castle, right? Best pulls, right? On camera. Nice. <laughs> well, once again, guys, Happy New Year's. I hope this was a great start to your new year. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sh spending and sharing your time watching this video. Hit the like button, subscribe. And once again, guys, I hope you had a great holiday season. And let's go 2024. Let's win together, y'all. So once again, this is your boy, RSR from RSR Collections. Peace.